Well, here I am in Daysland, Alberta. Population? About 800. Um, this is a grain farm. It doesn't really have a name. Um, the farmer I'm visiting is Nathan Eshpeter, so I guess I'll call it Eshpeter's Farm. So, as you can see, once again, the scale of this farm has gone up by an order of magnitude. Um, just a reminder, I started out at Amara Farm, which was two and a half acres. And then I moved to Clippers, which was 50 acres, 20 times the size of Amara. Farm with a good food was 600 acres, 12 times the size of Clippers. And now this is about 2,200 acres, so just under four times the size of the farm with the good food. And here, this is Alberta, we don't think in acres anymore. Farming here is measured in sections. And a section is a square mile. And this farm is just about, not quite, but just about four square miles, so four sections. Now, bear in mind, this is just a normal sized farm here in Alberta, but the scale for me is mind boggling. And I had a conversation with Nathan yesterday about the scale of the farming here, and we got talking, and we figured, okay, well, 2,200 acres, if it was all planted in wheat, be about a ton and a half per acre. So 3,300 tons of wheat produced by one person. I don't even know how many people that would feed, but for perspective, that's about a third of a 100 car train. Those are the trains that travel over the Rockies. So just one farm fills up a third of, a third of that train. I've lucked out with my living arrangements. Um, this is my new home. Yep, I'm living in a mobile trailer in true Alberta style. Everyone here has seems to have mobile trailers. Um, when I was camping, I had to check specifically to make sure that the campgrounds accept tents because camping in Alberta, you just assume you've got one of these. Anyway, I'm pretty well set up inside. This is my kitchen and my office is set up at the kitchen table. And uh, the couch here is my equipment room. I've got storage in the bunks in the back and uh, a bed up front. So it's pretty sweet. I want to finish with a true Alberta farmer story. This morning, Ken, who is Nathan's father um, and also the person that uh, introduced me to this place, he showed up. He was going to go to the fields and check on some wild oats and I came along with him. And uh, as we got into his 80s era Ford pickup truck, um, we were cruising along in the field and it starts to make this big growling sound. And sure enough, the muffler had fallen off. And um, instead of being stuck in a field with no muffler, or just driving back and fixing it elsewhere, Ken, a 70 something year old farmer, um, got down on his hands and knees, reached under the car, picked up the muffler, clamped it back onto the manifold, secured it with a chain that just happened to be in the front seat, and there you go, instant repair. Now, I don't know how many 70 something year olds can do that kind of uh, instant repair in the city, but there can't be very many, so I truly feel like I'm here in Alberta. Anyway, hopefully I'll have more uh, Alberta farming stories for you next week. Um, I'm just getting started here. I've only been here two days. And uh, to see that, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and keep watching. Um, if you're interested in the documentary, uh, you can sign up for the mailing list for the documentary at thehandsthatfeedus.ca. Or you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And I'll see you next week.